open letter from Galvin. This is an open letter to hairstyles. Dear hairstyles, seriously, I always find it so weird that different people have different hairstyles. It seems like there should be two hairstyles, one for men and one for women. But since we can't agree on that, I guess we're not going to do that. And uh, since we all just don't wear one, un one uniform, I guess we'll continue to have different hairstyles. And I, for one, think that's a good thing. Because you can tell a lot by a person from their hair. If a person's hair is messy, I assume their life is messy. Like there's a lot going on and I don't want to be part of it. If a person has nice hair, I assume they take pride in what they do and probably care about the details of what they do in their life. And if they're a man and they have a hairstyle of a five-year-old kid, I assume they're a weirdo billionaire like Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg or Mark Davis, the owner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, I'm not saying this is how it should be, but this is how it is. Pretty with great hair equals hot. Pretty with bad hair still equals hot. Average guy with good hair, good. But ugly with bad hair equals look at this monster. The last thing you want to see, no matter whether you're a woman or a man, when you're walking to your car, is some jar-headed freak with a bowl cut like Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Fat girls with blue hair, I just assume you were molested by a family <laughs> member. Again, I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that formula is almost 100% right. Hot girl with blue hair, I also assume you were molested by a family member, but you're hot, so you'll definitely do some weird sex stuff. <laughs> Is there a weird sex stuff hairstyle that ladies know for guys? Do ladies look at guys with a ponytail and think, oh yeah, look at this little freak? <laughs> or do women just know that guys will do anything any woman wants them to do regardless of whatever hairstyle they have? But I will tell you that nothing and no hairstyle brings more joy to my heart than black girls that are getting their hair done for prom. Mm -hmm. From helicopter hairdos <laughs> to tributes to Kobe, it is a wild <laughs> ride that I am 100% here for. I'm Galvin from The Mike Kelta Show, and this has been an open letter to hairstyles.